Welcome to the third tutorial on TiboCam. In the last tutorial we looked at motion detection, activation and motion detection sensitivity. In this tutorial we're going to look at email and FTP settings and alert settings. So to set up email and FTP click on the email and FTP tab. At the top left we have our email host settings. We have email user, password, SMTP host and the SMTP port. If your email host is Google Mail, you will need to set your SMTP port to 25 and set SSL as unchecked. Everything else you should be able to get from the help pages on Google or your email host. To the right we have the email settings. So in here is what will appear in your emails and who the emails go to. So I want, when there's motion detection, for emails to be sent to anon at googlemail.com. The reply address will be anon. The sent by will be anon. And we have things like the name, what will be in the subject line, and what will be in the body of the email. Experiment with these and see what happens. The FTP settings allow you to set up where the webcam image will be loaded when motion is detected in terms of websites. If you don't have a website, no need to set any of this up. If you do have a website, again, you can get the information of your user, password and root directory from your ISP. To make things a bit quicker, we have a test button for the email host settings and a test button for the FTP settings. When you click on the test button for the host settings, it will try and send an email off to wherever you have set the um, send email to. As you can see, it's unsuccessful. This is because I've used um, dummy information. If the email was successful, you'd receive an email um, at the send to email address and you'd receive, have a box which said that the email was sent successfully. Likewise, you can test your FTP settings. What will happen with the FTP settings when you test it is that a test file will be uploaded and deleted. Next, let's look at our alerts. So we click on the alerts tab. Now we're going to look at the notification settings. Within the notification settings we've got several options. When movement's detected, we can send a notification email. We can decide whether we want to email full-sized images or thumbnails. I tend to opt for the full-size images. And we can load the images to the website. Now, only tick load images to the website if you've set up your email, sorry, if you've set up your FTP settings correctly on the email and FTP tab. We also have the maximum number of images to send in one email. I would suggest you set this to four. And we also have a setting here where we can ping every certain number of minutes. Now what ping will do is it will send an email to you with an image and a graph every certain number of minutes. This is just a confirmation email to show you that Tebow Cam is working and the webcam is working correctly. The alert time settings allow you to specify um, how many emails you want to receive every number of seconds when motion is detected. So at the moment I have this set to four. What this means is that while motion is being detected, I will be receiving an email every four seconds from TiboCam. And underneath we have the frequency of image file updates in seconds. I have this set as one at the moment. I'm going to set this to 0 0.5. What 0 0.5 means is that when motion is detected, every half second an image will be taken. I have to say that 0 0.5 is probably good enough. The alert file name settings is for your website. This is the name of the image which will be uploaded to your website. So you can set a webcam um, image prefix, so here it's called webcam, and you can either set a cycle, a timestamp, or no prefix. Uh, no suffix to the file name. Now all of these file names will have .jpg appended to the end of them. So if I set it to the, start, the cycle, 
it will cycle through from webcam 1 to webcam 9999 and then return to 1. If I set a timestamp, it will append the year, the month, the day, hours, minutes, seconds and hundredths of seconds to each image that's uploaded to your website. Thank you for watching this third tutorial on TiboCam. In the next tutorial we're going to look at admin and some of the functions that are covered in the admin tab.